Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here I'm going to show you how to assemble and then I'm going to take you through all of the features of the Vancouver kitchen table. You can see it comes in this handy storage bag here, so easy to transport around. What we'll do is just take it out of here and show you how to put it together. So to set it up, it's nice and simple. We just grab the middle frame here and all we do is open it out like this and we'll just push the middle section down into place. You then have two side tables one smaller, one larger. We just fold this out like that. And then an important point here is just to clip that frame into place. You can see that's what then gives that the sturdiness. And then we just do the exact same on the other side, but the difference is here, we'll then pull down the feet into place. So you can then see that the frame is already set in place and it's already nice and sturdy. So next we're going to take the storage cupboard for the area in here and attach that into place. This is really easy, you just got to make sure that the door is on the side that you want it to be on and obviously the logo will dictate which way up this goes. So all we have to do is just simply take the Velcro straps here and wrap them around the top frame. So now that the top has been attached to the frame, we're just going to take the shelving unit for inside it and that will help take its shape and then we'll attach the bottom velcro straps. So once that's done, what we're going to do is just take the roll top uh, aluminium surface here and put that into place. What you'll find is on the underside of this, you have these clips which just clip directly onto the frame here. And a good tip is just to make sure that the Velcro tabs of the cupboard are on the outside of your clips. So you can see quite easily that sits into place there. Next we're going to take the windshield for the top and you'll find that you have four slots for that just to easily position into. So you can see there you then have a good sized cooking area on top. So the last thing to then do is take the additional uh, net shelf and put that into place on this side here. So what you'll find is that you have one rod slightly longer than the other side, so the long side just sits in the middle section and the shorter on the outside. Then here we can either just fold down the door or we can roll it away and have it velcroed closed. So there we have the setup for the Vancouver. Now we'll just talk you through the features. So the frame that we have on here is a lightweight aluminium frame. Uh, you've already seen just how easy it is to fold and open up. Um, this actually still has a maximum load of 30 kilograms, even though it is nice and lightweight. We then have the two side tables that we pointed out earlier on and the surface on these is made of bamboo. One of the nice things about bamboo is it's actually very heat resistant so uh, it's not going to sort of damage the bamboo sitting hot things on there. And also it's very stain resistant as well so it'll keep that nice finish uh, for a lot longer too. So at the top we then have our cooking area and as we highlighted earlier you have the windshield on here which gives you a good sheltered space for your cooker. And then underneath you have a good sized storage unit 
as you can see here, there's plenty of space for larger pots and pans and things like this. And of course, we also then have our small mesh shelf just under here too. So that's all the features of our Vancouver kitchen table. Thanks very much for watching.